the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you guys a very quick method on how to back up your save data by FTPing or basically backing up in UX0. And with that being said, uh, some prerequisites as before, you need to be on a PlayStation Vita that's on Hankaku, Hankaku Enzo H Encore from either versions 3.60 to 3.68. Um, this is just a quick method on basically how to you know back up your save data so like for example if you don't have you know playstation plus and you don't have like that cloud save data and you just want to maybe give a save data or save to a friend for whatever vita game you want or basically you just want to back it up to usb this is one way it's useful and this is not using cma and doing all that stuff this is basically just taking the root of the save data files and just transferring over to your um pc but with that being said, as long as you have Vita Shell, you want to go ahead and boot that up. And then once you're in Vita Shell, you want to go into UARC0 and then basically you want to go all the way down to where it says user and then 00. And this is your save data for whatever game. So for example, um, this is mine's, I guess, for Persona. Right here, I'll probably tell what file, or basically this is probably, yeah, this is probably Persona. But anyways, um, this is your save data for any uh, file such as Vita Shell, Auto Plugin, or whatever game uh, you have in here. All you would have to do is go ahead and either copy, you could just copy it anywhere onto UX0. So if I want to make a new folder, I could just copy and paste it into this one, for example. And then that's one method on how to back up. But let's say if you just don't want it on your system's memory card or whatever, whatever. Um, and you just want to go ahead and put it on your PC. Go ahead and either via USB or FTP. In this case, I'm going to FTP. So go ahead and hit start select. And go ahead and boot up your PC. Let me go ahead and switch back to the PC guys for y'all. And then from there... I'm going to go ahead and open the FileZilla, type your IP in. Uh, the port's always 1337. Let me X that out real quick. And All right, so same method here. Just want to go to user. Oh, not video. User 00, save data. And then there's also save data backup. This is for you know people with um PlayStation Plus. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, you probably won't have this folder. But go ahead. If you want to both copy these folders, it's a great idea to do. But just like that, um, that's how you manually back up your saves. So if you want to put it on a USB, give it to a friend. That's just one quick way on how to basically back up your save data. Um, thank you guys for watching. Later on today, I'll probably be posting on how to run PlayStation 1 games on or by using RetroArch and it's a really easy method um it's just like two or three steps but that video should be out today I also got a video basically on how to install update PKG files using um Octolus Nets PS4 PKG update database so three f videos should be coming out today just I want to say thank you for all the support I've been getting lately um it's been an amazing feeling and I really do appreciate y'all guys for staying at the end of the videos or just even clicking on it and reposting it to your friends. Thank you guys. My name is Nagato. I'm signing out.